what's up guys and welcome back to another video it's another beautiful day in bali and today we're talking about skinny fat yes if you're skinny and fat at the same time this video is for you because we're going to detail exactly how to fix it i got dm this on instagram so i thought it would make a good video and um, by the way if you've got any questions that you want me to answer just send me a message or drop it in the comments and uh, if it make a good video i'll answer it so your skinny fat how do you fix it well first of all i just want to say congratulations because if you follow absolutely everything that i outline in this video you will make more progress in the next six to twelve months than you ever will in your training career at all so you are at a very good point to make so a lot of progress in a relatively short space of time if you just do exactly what i tell you that's the good thing the bad thing is it's going to take a little bit of work but so if you're skinny fat what does that mean well it means you don't have much muscle uh, you don't have much muscle on your arms your chest your back your legs you don't have much muscle but you have excess body fat usually you'll have excess body fat around your stomach area so if you have excess body fat you're not you, currently with your current um eating uh, you, you're not in a calorie deficit yeah, you're either eating at maintenance or at some point you've been in a calorie surplus. If you were in a deficit, you wouldn't have uh, stomach fat in the first place. You wouldn't be skinny fat, you'd just be skinny. So um, basically, the, the first step that you need to do is get in the gym and follow a structured training plan. And I know that sounds simple, but if you're skinny fat, chances are you're not training or you're not training correctly because you could have the worst diet in the world as long as there was you know some amount of protein in that diet and you hit the gym and you follow you trained really hard and you followed a structured training program if you did that but your diet wasn't that great you would still make gains you would still have some muscle so if you're training right now and you don't have much muscle and you've been doing it for a while and you are eating protein you're doing something wrong okay so first step is you need to get in the gym. Um, you wanna train anywhere from three to six sessions a week. Um, every single session, you need to follow a structured training program, guys. Um, it doesn't matter whether you do push-pull legs, bro split, upper, lower. The split doesn't make a difference at this point, honestly. Just follow a structured plan uh, and you should be good and work hard. But with every single, um, regardless of what split you do, you want to make sure that you're starting each session with the compound movements. Start off your session with the compound movements. What are the compound movements? Well, that's the squat, the bench press, the deadlift, uh, pull-ups, dips. You start with the exercises which work multiple muscles at the same time. My preference for split is push-pull legs, just because it's very simple. You can do push-pull legs, push-pull legs, and then you can have Sunday off, for example. I think that's really good. Maybe it's a little bit too intense for beginners, but um, you can just turn down uh, the number of sets and intensity that, that you do. Next step, um, train. Usually do three or four exercises for each muscle group. Um, three, three sets each muscle group. Let's keep it nice and simple, okay? If you follow a structured training program and you eat enough protein and you don't change anything else, that alone, you, you will look significantly better. You will build some muscle and then you won't be skinny fat. You'll just be a little bit muscly fat, <laughs> if that's even a term, you know. But the next thing you probably want to do is make sure you're eating enough protein. Um, at this point, you don't necessarily need to be in a calorie surplus or a deficit. Uh, I would probably just stick around maintenance because because you're just starting out, there's something called newbie gains, okay? So when you first go to the gym, you don't have to train very hard. You don't have to do things right, and you will still make a lot of progress because your body's used to it. But the longer you've been training and the more progress you've already made, the harder it is to make progress. And it just gets to a certain point where there's almost no no progress, okay? But you're a long way off that. So the good news is you don't have to do a lot of things right to still make progress. But if you wanna fix your situation fast, 
then you want to look at your nutrition and you want to make sure that you're around maintenance at this point you probably i'm guessing you're probably not that motivated to be tracking your calories if you are that's great i uh, i would i would be so somewhere within a 300 calorie uh of maintenance if you are but if you're not if you're not motivated to track your calories and do all that stuff yet that's fine just make sure with every single meal that you're eating protein okay and make sure you're getting protein ideally from animal sources uh, because that's where the protein that's most bioavailable don't be relying on shakes and all this nonsense uh, just eat real food and ideally you're spacing your meals out you know three meals a day for me is fine I can eat enough if you're struggling to eat then do more meals uh, if you're overeating do less meals you know let's just keep it nice and simple but with every single meal make sure you're getting enough protein and a rough target to aim for is one gram per pound of body weight so your body weight in pounds say if you're 200 pounds you want to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day so if you're 200 pounds that means you want to eat 200 grams of protein in a day okay so that is all you really need to do to fix your skinny fat situation if you just train hard you follow a structured plan you progressively overload the muscle you do it consistently for a long time and every single day you eat enough protein you, your body shape will change it is inevitable for it to not change okay you will build muscle um, depending on if you're in a surplus or a deficit you, you know you might lose some of that fat but it might get to a certain point where you've made a lot of uh, gains like muscular gains but now you want to lose some of that fat well that's when you would go into more of like a cutting phase um, to try and strip um, some of that excess body fat off and then once you get lean you might go again but this is why you probably want to work with a coach to know uh, or at least you can work with a coach and that is how you're going to progress the fastest but you can equally just do this by yourself as well but um, one mistake that people do make is the changing things too often they might bulk for a few weeks and then they decide oh no I'm fat and then they might cut for a few weeks like for me I'm all about small changes and consistent actions over a long time because the slower you make changes the slower you make the gains the slower you get the fat off the more likely you are to keep it okay and what's the point in going through all this work and what's the point in you know like a lot of people you know new year comes around they're like new year new me they get in the gym first week they do seven days they're doing an hour of cardio every single day they're doing a calorie deficit they're tracking everything and if that's not sustainable then why are you doing it because you you don't really make much progress in the short term it's what you do over a full year that actually counts so what can you stick to for a full year you know is it as simple as just doing some walks every single day just going to the gym three times a week just getting um, 50 grams of protein per for each meal but even if you just did those things uh, for over a long period of time you would make significant progress so chances are if you're skinny fat right now it's uh, and you are training you're doing something wrong okay you're doing something wrong hire a coach if you want to if not follow a structured structured training program make sure you're um, pushing yourself in the gym go three to six times a week make sure you get enough protein eat somewhere around maintenance if you don't know uh, how to work out your maintenance calories I made an earlier video on that and if you do everything correctly you will make more progress in the next uh, six to twelve months than you'll ever make at any other time so I will, I'm excited for you because if you stick to this you're gonna make some insane progress you're gonna turn your physique around uh, you're gonna build up your confidence and you're gonna be you know starting to make progress and be finally you know happy with where your current physique's at so that's it for this video I hope it helps if you've got any questions anything you want me to answer just send me a DM or drop them in the comments below and I'll get to them and that's it for this one I'll talk to you soon